This is PANJ Radio News. I'm Rob Bell, and in the headlines, the Delaware River Towns Chamber of Commerce is holding a fundraiser this weekend to raise $44,000 to pay for planned firework displays on the Delaware River, which once again this year would be launched from a barge just south of the New Hope Free Bridge. If funded, the fireworks would dazzle onlookers at 9.30 p.m. on June 3rd, July 1st, August 5th, and September 2nd. The displays are meant to enhance the Chamber's First Fridays initiative to draw tourism to New Hope and Lambertville. But according to artist Mike Mann, who spends hours observing and drawing Lambertville's bald eagles, whose nest is located high atop a power line tower on the north end of town, fireworks disturb them and should be postponed until the fall when their newborn eaglets are fully fledged. The explosive noise of the fireworks adds major stress to an already difficult life for our beautiful eagles, Mann writes in a recent Facebook post, adding that the fireworks should be postponed until August at the earliest. PANJ Radio reached out to David Morgan, president of the chamber, who tells us that, same as last year, the chamber wants to be, quote, good stewards to the environment, and that, like last year, they are going to abide by all DEP guidelines. Bald eagles, once an endangered species, are still protected by the Federal Bald and Golden Eagle Protection Act, which invokes civil penalties for disturbing them. According to the state DEP, it is illegal to set off fireworks within one mile of an active nest site, and Morgan points out that the firework barge's location is well over a mile south of the eagle's nest and is in full compliance with all federal laws. Last year, the eagle successfully had two hatchlings, according to observers, despite the chamber's summer firework displays. A call to Robert Soans with the New Jersey Fish and Wildlife Service, who deals directly with the eagles in Lambertville, was not returned in time for this news report posting. PANJ will continue to monitor the story for future developments, so please stay tuned for future updates. NJ Radio Update. Tune in at 6 p.m. for New Jersey What Exit with Joey Novick. Joey's guests this week are Senator Ray Lesniak, Assemblyman Andrew Zwicker, and comedians Mike Bonner and Randy Simon Lupo. This show is live at 7 p.m. every Monday night here in the studio, and you are welcome to come down and be in the audience. At 5 p.m. on In the Green Room, Vinny and Rob interview director Tom Berenger and members of the cast of his hilarious new comedy film, Who's Jenna?, which premieres in Asbury Park on May 20th. And at 8 p.m. on Musical Notes with Judy Marchand, Judy's guest is talented local musician Greg Cagno, who performs live in studio. For a full schedule of all our original local programming, check out our schedule page at www.panjradio.com. Speaking of original programming, PANJ is running an advertising special for the month of May. Get a custom-created one-minute social media ad created for your business and run it for a week on all eight of our original radio shows for about half off our already low prices. Not only do you get your business in front of hundreds of potential local customers, you can also use your new radio ad on your website and across social media, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn, just to name a few. Area weather, Friday and Saturday evening thunderstorms make way for cooler weather on Sunday with temperatures back in the mid-50s. Next week, temperatures are predicted to rise back into the mid-60s with more showers expected on Wednesday. I'm Rob Bell. Have an awesome day, everybody.